Hello, dear students. Welcome to our English TV classroom. I hope you have fun today. My name is Tanya Radošević, and I'm your teacher today. And this here is my fellow dear colleague, Maria Davidović. Hello, guys. I also hope you will have fun, but also hope you will learn how to understand and speak English better. Today, we're going to talk about your last few days, because these last few days were different for you. Hello, my name is Adam. I'm 14. This is my best friend, Sam. Hello, guys. We really want to help you understand English better. We do. Yes, we do. Hello, Adam. Could you please tell me more about your last couple of days? What did you do? How did you spend them? Did you change your habits? Did you do things differently? Were you bored at home? Are your days what they used to be or not? Well, hello. My mom was working from home while I was watching my lessons on TV. It was interesting, I have to say. My dad came home early yesterday. Okay, sorry. Why did your dad come early yesterday? Because things are different and his working hours are different now. Everybody needs to be home by 8 o'clock. Oh, oh, yes, I understand it now. Okay? Yes. Please. Everybody. Go on. I helped my mom prepare pizza for dinner. I washed my hands so many times, I stopped counting. Everyone says it is very important. I was not bored at home because you asked. No, I wasn't. Glad it wasn't hear. that hard, really. I played video games after the classes. It was different, sure, but not boring. Thank you, Adam. Hello, Sam. Now about you. How did you understand the new measures? How were your days different from what they used to be? Did you miss anything? Anyone? Were you working on anything new? Hello. Well, I took it all very seriously. I mean, the measures like be healthy, stay healthy, wash your hands. Wash. I was washing my hands more than ever before. Mm -hmm. And I was wearing mask when I was outside. Why? Why mask? Because uh, I went to a shop. Mm -hmm. I went to a pharmacy and they say if you go to closed spaces you should wear a mask. You don't have to wear it if you're outside, but if you go somewhere like a shop or a pharmacy or wherever, you should wear a mask. Wear a mask inside. Yes. We did not go to school. That was like the biggest, biggest change. But homeschooling, I mean this distance learning, was fun. I missed my friends a lot. Especially Adam. Adam is my best friend, yes. He always supported me. He always helped me, was by my side, so I miss him the most. And you asked me if I did something special. No, special. Yes, I was working on our history project. Good way to kill time. Yes. Adam, please tell us, when do we say, I was working on a project. Well, when we want to say that a longer action was happening in the past. And why did you say that your mom was working from home while you were having classes? Because these two actions, meaning my mom working from home and I having classes, happened at the same time. So I was in my room and my mom was in the living room. So she was working and I was having my classes. And it was together. So it happened at the same time. Mm -hmm. So what is the rule here? I know the rule. I know the rule. Of course you do. It looks like this graph below. In the graph, you can see two red lines. And they are parallel, you know, parallel. parallel. Like in maths. Like in maths. So these actions are called parallel actions and they have 
was, like I was doing, you he, were, you were. You were. Yes, different. you were. Yes, but I was doing, he was doing, she was doing, it was happening. Whereas you were doing, we were doing, they were doing. So, we have was, were, and the were plus ing. Ing. Yes. So, for example, I was studying while he was making dinner. At the same time, we were doing something. So Me parallel studying. actions. Yes, parallel uh -huh. actions, as you can see in this graph. So easy, right? Well. Uh, I know something else. What we else? also use this way to describe, let's say, the atmosphere. Mm. Like... Uh, Is that something like when you say in the books, the sun was shining, the birds were singing? Is that some kind of atmosphere? That yes, comes? that's right. Imagining like uh, reading a book, opening the page, and your favorite character is saying this. I woke up early in the morning. It was a beautiful day. The birds sang, the sun shone. Ooh. Ooh, it hurts my ears. Would you keep on reading that book? No. No, no. It seems boring. It seems boring, yes. Yeah. And not very good also, right? No. No. Okay. So, for example, okay, this is a typical school day so typical. situation. Now I'm not Sam, I'm the teacher again. <laughs> when I walked into the classroom, several students were busily writing homework. Come on, guys, you know. You do yeah. that. Some were talking on the phones. Of Say, course they do that. Yes. You do that, right? The teacher was waiting for the school bell to ring. Well, I do that. And some students were not doing anything special. That happens. That they happens all the it? time. Oh. But it's okay, they're kids. They should be like, not always, but... Hmm. It's, did anyone interrupt you guys? My grandmother. Oh. I was working on the project when the phone rang. Oh. Yes, my little sister. I was listening to my class when she walked into the room. So, Adam, first just tell us, okay, what is the rule for interruption? You said your little sister interrupted you, but what's that, interrupt? It means to stop me while I'm doing something else. Mm -hmm. To walk in, to stop, to ruin. Mm -hmm. To interrupt means to stop something. Okay, no. You're talking about your little sister. Yes. yes. It was so rude of her. It just, when some action, look at the graph here. So when some action is going on, for example, longer action, this is the red one. So I was listening to my class. Sorry. I was listening to my class. Or, for example, when the phone rang, she was writing a letter. So she was writing a letter. It's something that lasted for a longer time. It's a red one. And when she interrupted me, so my little sister, for example, or the phone that rang, that is this blue cross. So, interruption, interrupt. For example, when the phone rang, she was writing a letter. So she was writing a letter and then suddenly, the phone rang okay. and it stopped her okay. because of I that. I think they got it. It's okay. So Adam, this was not so easy. Or should I say wasn't? Well, you can say both, but if you're writing a formal letter or an email, for example, then you should write was not and were not as two words. Okay, just... Uh... If I write to my friend, yes. I should say I was not. No. Oh. If you write a letter to a friend, it is something that you usually do. It's something that you, your language, you use the language as everyday oh. language, not as a formal way of writing. So only when writing formal emails, talking to other people who do not know, for example, if I write to my um, French teacher. Yes, if okay. you ra write to your French teacher, out of respect, you should write two words. Okay, I understand it now. Uh, and what is the answer then? 
Wow, that is really easy. You say, yes, I was working, or no, I wasn't working. Wow, thanks, Adam. You are my best friend. You're very welcome. So let's just pay attention to the difference between while and when. So while expresses the idea of during that time, so something lasted. For example, while I was studying, she called. When, on the other hand, is most often followed by the verb ending in ed. That's, you know that, what it is? Yes. It's what you call the second column. So a list of irregular verbs, and there's a second column as you call it. So that's actually what happens after when. So you use verb ending in ed if it is regular. If it's not, then it's second column as you call it. I was studying when she called. So after when you use called, ed. Also, we use while in parallel actions. We already explained that. Sam explained it. Yes, I did. I was studying while he was listening to music. So that is something that happens at the same time. And what are the other uses of past actions? Well, we already mentioned when, right? Mm, what about it? Yeah, we mentioned it. Oh, look at this graph below, please. Pay attention. When you want to say that an action started and finished that's the most important thing. So cross, it's finished at a specific time in the past. So we know exactly when. Then you say, for following examples, I saw a film yesterday. I didn't see a film yesterday. Last year, I traveled to Japan. So we know when, last year. Last year, I didn't travel to Japan. So last year is finished, gone. Last year, we know exactly when. She washed her car. So that car doesn't need to be washed again, so she finished that. She didn't wash her car. Again, finished action. Understand? So yes, if we know when, if we know when, we say past action, right? Past action, of course. ED. ING ED. was where? Okay. Wow, so easy. I know about something else. If we talk about actions happening one after another, like I got up, I brushed my teeth, I had my breakfast, etc., etc., we use the verb plus ED or the second column, formally called past simple irregular verbs. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if I say I finished homework, walked to the beach and found a nice place to swim. Would you like to swim now? Yes. I would love it. So it's what happened first and what happened afterwards. It's one after another. Yes, you can see presented by triple X here. Uh-huh. So yes, one, two and three. Yes. So could you please read this so we can know, understand better. He arrived from the airport at eight, checked into the hotel at nine and met the others at ten. That's so it. eight o'clock happened, number one. When nine o'clock happened, it was number two. Mm -hmm. And he met others at 10, so it's number three. Yes, that's right. Thank you, it was easy. You're welcome. Yeah. But did you know about this? What is duration? What does it mean, duration? Something lasts. Okay, it's a long action, often used with expressions such as for two years, for five minutes, or all day, all year, all week. So duration is the emphasis here. So I lived in Brazil for two years. Shona studied Japanese for five years. She's not doing that anymore, it's finished. That's the most important thing. They sat at the beach all day. That day is gone, past. We talked on the phone for 30 minutes. How long did you wait for them? We waited for one hour. So that's gone, we're not waiting anymore. Understood. So for question, we, questions, we use did. 
Yes. And I'm sure you know what is this tense called. You mean past action? Yes. It's simple to say. Simple, very simple. Yeah. Oh, I know. It's the past simple tense, right? Good. I sure. got it. But, Adam, do you know how is that tense we were talking about called? We're talking about... We're talking. Talking. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's... I, I, I know, yeah, for sure. It's past continuous tense. Well done. Yeah. After all, you're my best friend. You should know that. Of course. That. Yes. Now, let us revise the tenses we have learned about today. Sen, please help me with that. She can help us with that again. I'll be honored. <laughs> okay, so let's now talk some grammar. Simple past. Simply you have a, for a formula they say. Positive, if a, a verb is regular, you just add ed. Yes. If the verb is irregular, please memorize it from the table, the second column. That's for positive form. So, the example for regular verb can be I visited my friends. The example for regular verb can be I often went to the beach. Okay? And uh, that's like a Tough thing here with the past simple tense. We don't like the second column. You don't like the second column. No. It's okay. But from now on, everything is easy. If you want to ask questions, you just need to say the magic word did, did in front of the subject. And then you leave the verb, the main verb, the main guy, unchanged. You ah. leave it in infinitive. So you know just about the did? infinitive. Hmm. Yes. Okay. So the question can be, did you visit your friends or did you often go to the beach? And of course, like in any other tense, when you want to say a negative sentence, you just add not. Here, you add not to did. And of mm. course, in, in everyday speech, we don't say do not. Or did not. Did not. We hmm. say, I didn't. So, I didn't visit my friends and I didn't often go to the beach. Now, that's Past simple tense. Simple, right? It's simple. simple. Yeah, simple. Past continuous tense. Okay, we already talked about it. I mean, Sam. Yeah, yeah Sam did. has already talked about it. So, you use was and were and the verb plus ing. But if we talk about the present continuous tense, what do we have there? Well, it's slightly different, really. It's not a big difference. Instead of was and were, you just use I am, you are, he, she, it is. And the verb ing remains the same. It's mm -hmm. basically completely the same. So we have, a, in this formula, we have a, two constants, right? Two constants. Only one changes. Yes. Changeable constant. Oh, if the it's the verb to be. Yes, if the mathematicians could hear me now. Changeable, <laughs> variable, constant. Okay, so, uh, uh, positive sentence, okay? Okay. Here you can see the examples. You were studying when she called, were you studying when she called, you were not studying when she called. But Tanya, tell me, what were you doing yesterday when I called you? I was preparing lessons when you called me and interrupted me. Oh, was it this lesson maybe? Maybe it was. Okay. So, Sam. What was this lesson about? Could you please just explain a little Wrap bit? Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Wrap yes. it up. Thank okay. you. It was about past tenses and when to use them. It was also about how new life we are, about the new life we are now living. Uh, past tenses. Okay, the keywords are when, finished, mm -hmm. done, done, gone, done. Someone was doing something. Someone did something. That's it. And that's so finished. Past remains in the past. And the keyword is when. 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 When, when we know when, we use these tenses for past actions. And now a little bit about your homework. Okay. Sorry, guys. You need to have homework. And, okay, first of all, we want to tell you you don't have to do it if you don't want to. We cannot check up on you. That's a fact. We can't. But. If you have nothing better to do with your time, and let's say, let's agree, you have more than enough time nowadays. More than enough. And don't spend it all playing games or chatting or 
I don't know, uh, talking. Social networking? Yes. Yes. Try to write about your last few days. You can also type it. You can, yeah, in Word. You can post it on Instagram, I don't know. You whatever. Can, whatever, you can make presentation about it. Good idea. And if you really want to have it checked, you can send it to your English teacher, right? Your English teacher from your school. Yes. Well, they cannot send us, right? Yes. Okay. So what will we learn in our next class? Adam says that we will learn more about differences between British English and American English. Now, sure, they understand each other very, very well. But still, there are quite some differences you have no idea about. So do not forget to visit our YouTube channel for practice because we put everything on YouTube for you. Goodbye for now. Take care of yourselves. Wash your hands. Stay healthy. Listen to your parents. And, and stay, stay tuned. tuned. Please take a picture, get your mobile phone ready, take a photo of our channel, and see you soon. See you soon. Hope guys you enjoyed it. Stay healthy. Do some English. <laughs>